And for those of you who have watched our videos on our YouTube channel and our stream, I think you'll recognize uh, at least the playmat on the right side of the screen that is none other than Starkiller bassist John Gobey. And today he's jumped on the Uncar FN uh, Tripper Trade and he will be playing against Arsene. Arsene has told me that he's just started playing Destiny a few days ago, but uh, you know, he is 3-1 uh, and one at this point, so it seems like he, he knows what he's doing with this deck. So yeah, they're uh, ready to go. I think we can start the timer right now. Yep, started already, okay. So, uh, for those of you new to uh, you know Destiny videos or the channel, John runs a, a YouTube channel called Starkiller Base. Uh, he is in fact recording matches today that we will be putting up later on on his YouTube channel. So if you just search for Starkiller Base uh, on YouTube, you can find his channels. I think, in my opinion, they're very well done. Uh, he of course does all the commentary and. He is probably one of the best players in the Toronto area, so you can. Uh, he has like a lot of insight. Yeah. And uh, we were hoping, if he didn't make the cut, that he would uh, be willing to come and commentate for us, or if he does get knocked out at some point. But so yeah, John has won a store championship already this season, a couple weeks ago. Yep. Uh, he was playing Pomaz, but I think once he had a tournament win, he decided to switch it up. So this is the final round of Swiss. Um, both these players are X and one, so this is uh, very possibly a win and in for at least one for one of these players. Uh, yeah, definitely. A four and one yeah. record will guarantee you a spot in the top eight. Uh, yeah, with twenty four you, players, you'll, I think it does. you'll still be able to get in with a three and two, but uh, it's going to come down to strength of the schedule in that case. Yeah. So, it looks like, uh, yeah, obviously Arsene wants the Emperor's Throne Room, yeah. so he'll go with his uh, battlefield. So Emo Kids is a, is a deck that has been, you know, maybe not always been at the top tables, but I think it's been performing Friends in those places here. So that only strips events. So manipulate, deflect, or uh, overconfidence, or isolation, sorry I missed that. That's a that's a very um, removal heavy hand for a, a emo kid deck. So this might be a little bit slower than most other versions of this deck. That'd be very similar to the version that that John had been playing uh, earlier before Star Championship started. So there's a salvage stand right there. This is probably very similar to the deck that won uh, the European Nationals a couple of weeks ago. Running, you know, basically eight pieces of dice removal sure. plus salvage sand and imperial inspection. Yeah. And I don't know if everyone's familiar. So when salvage for salvage sand, when you roll a die with a re on a resource side, you can exhaust the salvage sand to remove one resource from your opponent. Yep. Um, so that's great. You can have two of them in play, so you can be doing it to remove two. So it can really choke out an opponent. Yeah, especially uh, against the, the Vader Kylo deck that you know one of your characters doesn't have any resource sides at all. Yeah. So he uh, plays flank to remove the uh, Vader special. Yeah, and and you're basically in in survival mode at the very beginning. You just want to try to stem the stem the bleeding that the emo kid deck is so good at doing. Uh, two damage onto Unkar there. Yeah. So he's gonna start with Unkar inst instead of FN. Yep. I mean, Unkar is the source of most of your disruption, I think. Yes. So, Force Illusion. Because usually Vader is the first target for uh, for opponents when they go after uh, your characters. So, Holdout Blaster, Ambush, rolls out the die, uh, can't resolve it, does get another action because of Ambush. And, oh, yep, and then he will probably throw three at, yeah, Kylo. One more damage here. See if he wants to reroll. Yeah, just maybe try to try to do as much damage. There's another three damage probably going at Kylo again. So that's six damage now on Kylo. Five HP left. Good first turn for John there. Three. Attack with one. 
All right. Uh, I don't think there's oh, many oh, of the pieces oh. that he wanted to see on uh, our sense side. We're also Kylo. Yeah, Okay, so I'll All right. Yeah, uh, so John's just putting the uh, shield tokens beside his character. Yeah, I mean, anything you see on, on the mat, I think John is in play for him. Uh, I mean, it could be a little bit closer to the character, but... I think we kind of get the idea where the where the shield is. So there was an overconfidence uh, on both of Ankar's dice, removes the blank. And rolling out. Uh, I, so I, I see that John actually, he's, he's being a lot more aggressive with his dice. Like usually, I, I find that with Ankar decks you tend to, okay, there's, he doesn't like you. Uh, you tend to um, use the... Ankar's ability? Yeah, Ankar's ability yeah. early on, and then you, you sort of transition over later on to the damage size. But he's trying to burn down one character, which I think is smart, because I think this deck can really handle one character no matter well, I mean, how powerful it is. It was also by virtue of some of the dice that he was rolling. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. he had a lot of damage out after using the damage. Mm -hmm. He never really had the opportunity to, uh, to use Ankar's ability. Yep. And now if he can get Kylo down as quickly as possible. Yeah, I, I, I don't. I think the force. Uh, sorry, the mind probe. You're not going to play it. No. There's too much uh, burn, uh, resource burn. Well, if you had a he had a holocron in his hand, then. Definitely kept yeah, no, I know, but he, he doesn't have one now. Holding on to it, it's just choking up from cards that might be more useful. There's uh, FN doing the step up of his upgrades. There is a baton rolled out. Uh, is he going to take the resource? Is he going to leave it out? Maybe. Yep, takes the resource. Back to Arsene, who uh, unfortunately hasn't been doing a lot of damage, um, but he's going to try to, I think. Hit He's Ankar, pointing yeah. on Ankar, yeah. So that's one damage onto Ankar. Yeah, you have like two. There's two on Kylo, puts putting him at eight, so three HP left on Kylo now. And going for another pull on Ankar. And there's the best defense again. And what, what is that other that yellow card in John's hand? Is that a fast hands or no? I, they're face down now. I know. Okay, so that's a pretty good roll. That's enough to kill off Kylo. Yeah, yeah he just claimed there. And uh, now I think things are suddenly looking a lot harder for our scene. I wonder if it's worth holding on to the Force Illusion until you, someone starts doing damage. Yeah. Just because that way you know that you're going to be able to do that to hold on to one of your characters. Now I will say, in a way, that's a way of maybe convincing John to, you know, go after the weaker character first. Yeah, it can yeah. be. Um, it's just, it's, uh, you want to be able to use it to keep two characters alive, not just your last character. Yeah. So and it now looks like our scene. He, in the last couple of turns, he wasn't really drawing any any upgrades he could play, but oh. now he's got the vibro knife, and that's a huge one. But oh, best defense. That's what that's there for. He didn't have the resources to pay for it, so yeah. it was going to be really awkward for him to get the damage out. So he's probably okay with that trade. Well, he could have taken the resource, did three, and then claimed for another three. Well, yeah, that's a good point. Plays out of meditate. So that's a. Yep, salvage then every time. Yeah. 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 Taking the resource so that he opens up some of the mitigation cards in his hands is probably a good idea. <laughs> As John reminding, reminding our Sandy, yeah, he activated his character. So this is what, a pass or a claim? Oh, there's the disrupt, so. Okay. That resource doesn't matter. 
Okay, so John, John sort of pointing out, yeah, you know, if you do that, I'll just disrupt it. So John, nice guy, John, uh, allowing his opponent maybe to take back that tactical error. Uh, rolls out the first order stormtrooper die, gets nothing, and uh, now a gaffy stick, which is. Hasn't seen the light of day since the very beginning of Awakenings. Oh, yeah. uh, now too. regaining popularity. Oh yeah. Now it's regaining popularity with the uh, the prevalence of the FN on card deck. So might as well just take three resources straight up instead of fishing for something that's probably gonna be worth less. But. So now yeah, John can just. Take his time, load up all the upgrades he wants on FN. Hasn't even rolled out FN. Yeah, it's really hard to kind of a I think our scene just basically passing. So Gaffy Stick Special. Um, John has no money. There's a reroll. So that Gaffy Stick might actually that Gaffy Stick Special actually is gonna do something here. Uh, of course, uh, you could use the uncar ability. Okay, so first he's gonna reroll. And uh, so blanks two ranged. Now there's another reroll. Yep. I guess this means he claimed. Yeah. So maybe, maybe you just use uncar's ability. Yep. Get some money, and then uh, you're gonna want to deal three. Oh, it's a nice pull. Yeah, but I. But see, with that reroll, he lost the ability to uh, to deal more melee damage. I think so. Yeah, so that's two. Just doing them individually here. Yeah. So plus another three. Yep. So there goes the force illusion. All right. Yeah, decent. Nothing too big that he that he milled there. But now you're staring down, um, you know, basically full strength force on John's side. Uh, it, it, this game has been kind of like a little bit of a role reversal. I mean, you know, with the, the emo kids deck kind of playing defensively and, and John just like pushing the aggression here. Well, you got to remember also, John mitigated any dice showing damage yeah. from our sense side. So there were a lot of opportunities that got shut down. Yeah. But I think this is a sterling example of uh, what they used to call in Magic, who's the beatdown. You know, yeah. and that changes from time to time too. Yeah, there's the Imperial Inspection. So that this is a nail in the coffin here for uh, for our Sands deck, I think. Yeah. So roll out Vader, hope, uh, hope that John doesn't roll out a Disrupt. He's going to try to roll the dice that get the most opportunity. Of course, he does get the Disrupt. Uh, now he's going to decide maybe what to bounce. Yeah, the Makashi training. <laughs> so that looks like four unblockable damage coming yep. at whoever he chooses. Of course, that's not enough to kill any character. Well, actually, no, it, it would be enough to kill the Stormtrooper if, if that is three damage sitting over there. Who's trying to figure out if there's any way for him to kill... Uh, kill Unkar. Yeah. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, not quite. Even if he tried to claim with the other thing. But this is a discard to re-roll. Oh, yeah. So maybe if he rolls uh, a melee side here, he can, you know, maybe deal. No, it didn't matter. But he could have dealt, you know, three damage and then claimed for another three damage. Well, he could have just hit the plus two, card. so he could have done the straight three, six straight yeah. up to okay. Pretty slow. Overriding with a holdup, interesting. Cost down there. <coughs> That's the beauty of the uncard deck, right? Like the like with the upgrades that you play, it doesn't really matter what sides you you roll a modifier yeah. side for a ranged, and then you can just uh, pitch it to uncard. So I, I know action cheating is a thing, but like just the fact that you can reuse uncard plus ability and as many times as you have dice. It's very, very strong. Um, yeah. Two more damage that he has more than enough money to play for. Right now. And, he, and again, he hasn't even rolled out uh, Uncar. I'm oh, sorry, hasn't rolled out FN yet. He manipulates that, uh, the damage away there. So I think this is John thinking to overwrite with uh, with the uh, baton. Yep. 
Yeah, throw that. Oh, rocket launcher this time. And unfortunately rolls a blank. Maybe he's going to overwrite the gaffy stick. Uh, what did he do there? So what was that? Was that a claim? No. He removed the vibro knife and set the Vader die to a special. Oh, he used meditate. That's how he did it. Okay, meditate. Get out of there. So specials, uncar, and then claims to. Yep. But I mean, doing two damage to yourself in the process is not helping your case. But at least he can kill Ankar. I think that's all he's thinking yeah. about now. This, this is a moral victory here, is what he's trying to go for. John is just going to claim. Yeah, is he, he, all he has to do is claim here, right? Oh, uh, well. No, no, he, no, no. It wouldn't have been enough to kill him. Yeah. It just would have been. Seven, eight, nine. No, no, that wouldn't be enough to kill him. No, it wouldn't have been. You're right. I, I'm just saying. To take away the ability to kill Ankar. Yeah, and then he just deals much damage. Right. Okay, so that's. Uh, it's actually a, a quick game on Unkar's part, uh, taking apart the, the Emo Kids deck.